Welcome to Philippine Canadian Inquirer's Daily News Roundup. Here are stories making headlines today. BTAG to return 60 million peso payment for DOT ads. BTAG Media Unlimited Incorporated, the media outfit owned by the brother of tourism secretary Wanda Tulfoteo, on Monday has decided to return the 60 million peso advertisement funds from the Department of Tourism. In a radio interview, Teo's legal counsel and spokesperson Ferdinand Topacio said that BMUI's action was done to demonstrate good faith and to show that there was no corruption in the advertisement deal. The 60 million peso was paid to BMUI by the government-owned People's Television Network Incorporated. BMUI produces Kilos Pronto, a news magazine program on PTV4 where the DOT advertisements were placed. The deal caused a controversy after the Commission on Audit on April 27 released a report stating that the only memorandum of agreement on file was between PTNI and DOT and questions the absence of a contract or MOA between PTNI and BMUI. Quote, Due to the absence of documents mentioned and the deficiencies noted, the accuracy, legality, and validity of payments made to Blocktimer BMUI in the amount of 60,009,560 pesos could not be ascertained, unquote COA said. Robredo back Sereno over Quo Waranto case. Vice President Lenny Robredo on Monday stood by embattled Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno's side slamming the Quo Waranto petition against the Chief Magistrate. Calling the petition a final blow to the ideal of justice, Robredo said that the fight against it is not just for Serena to bear, but for everyone. Quote, As duly elected vice president, I took an oath to defend the constitution. You can count on me to do everything in my power to right this wrong, unquote, the vice president said. Robredo added that the Quo case weaponizes the courts and can be used as a weapon of intimidation to kill dissent. She also called on the public to defend the judiciary. Quote, it was formed to give protection to the ordinary citizens, not to be used as a weapon of those in power, unquote, she said in Filipino. The Quo Waranto petition that questions the validity of Serena's appointment as Chief Justice was filed on March 5 by Solicitor General Jose Calida, who said that Serena is unlawfully holding her post due to her alleged failure to file her statements of asset, liabilities, and net worth. Philippines Winning War vs. Drugs PNP says Philippine National Police Chief Oscar Albayalde yesterday said that Philippines is winning its fight against illegal drugs. Albayalde's statement was backed by data from various law enforcement agencies that were presented at the hashtag Real Numbers Philippines Forum at Camp Crame in Quezon City. Data showed that 2,676.60 kilos of methamphetamine hydrochloride or shabu had been seized from July 1, 2016 to April 30, 2018. This along with confiscated laboratory equipment amount to 20.23 billion pesos. Meanwhile, in the 98,799 anti-illegal drugs operations conducted by the authorities, 142,069 drug suspects were arrested while 4,251 died. Albayade also said that there are fewer drug pushers on the streets today, translating it to a lower crime volume in the country. He, however, stressed that these results are only half of what the police force could achieve. 